New at 1030, a holiday full of parties is set to happen later this week, and local officials are urging caution when it comes to what you put in your body. News 9's Hannah Hayes explains. The Jefferson County General Health District says there was two fatal overdoses over the last 48 hours in downtown Steubenville. With the 4th of July holiday approaching, health officials are urging residents to remain vigilant and exercise caution regarding drug and alcohol consumption. Although the toxicology reports are not yet available, these fatalities have raised concerns about the potential circulation of a dangerous batch of illicit drugs within the community. It's important to get this messaging out in the community, um, especially with it being a, a holiday week. We typically do see uh, drug activity, both drug and alcohol activity, go up uh, throughout the holiday weekend. So we want to be ahead of the game here. Both incidents occurred in units managed by the Jefferson Metropolitan Housing Authority one in the south end and the other in the north end, according to local officials. In all likelihood, there probably also have been distributed in the community. So this is awareness to those who may have purchased drugs within the last, let's say, week or so to make sure that uh, you're, you're not using them or, you know, we never encourage drug use whatsoever, but you also want to make sure if you can't fight that urge and the temptation gets to you, never use alone and make sure naloxone is available. Henry says fentanyl is likely in play. So this was our first fatal overdose since April 30th of this year. So that was a pretty large gap of, of no fatal overdoses for the entire calendar year of 2024, including the two fatal overdoses. The last two days were at a total of 11 for the calendar year, which is very similar numbers to last year. He also says carrying naloxone may save someone's life. In general, a lot of people use behind closed door. It could be a family member upstairs. And just having it on site is the most important thing. Uh, these drugs aren't safe no more. You can get naloxone at the Jefferson County Health Department, at the Route 7 intersection in Irondale, where the rest stop is. And the Family Recovery Center also provides naloxone and fentanyl drug testing strips. Reporting in the News 9 Content Center, I'm Hannah Hayes, News 9. Hi, I'm Jamie Baker. Thanks for watching. Here's another video for you to watch and please be sure to subscribe to our channel.